Hi all, I wanted to do another video for you quickly. I talked to you last time about the booster antennas that I have and I wanted to sort of do a bit of a quick review for you on them. So if you look right now, this is the unit and you can see our signal strength. We have got good numbers here, minus 76. The SNR is basically the difference between the signal and the noise uh, ratio there. Closer to 20 is better. I've had this as high as 10 at times. But I honestly look at this number here. I don't really refer to much about this number. I just look at this number here. So I wanted to show you. This is with our booster antenna on right now. I'm about to turn the antenna off. Now look what happens to the signal strength. Look at it. It just jumped. I mean, we just gained 50 dBs there and we just lost uh, 9 or so dBs in the SNR. Uh, it's, it's impossible. So I'll turn it back on for you. So this is in our trailer. Uh, so it's basically like a tin can where we have you know nothing out there. Uh, this, this number will drop back down to the 70s again in a second there. There it goes. Once it sort of finds itself and signals in again. So you can see how well the booster works. Now <clears throat> This is our booster antenna outside. So you can see it's a directional antenna that points directly to the uh, to the tower. There are lots of applications you can get that will actually tell you where the towers are. And you can then point directly at it there. This is a 25-foot uh, telescopic pole. You can see the sections in there. Um, I've got four sections up, so we're up at 20 feet. There was another section if I wanted it, but I didn't need it. We are way, way above anything required there, and I'm pointing directly at a tower a few kilometers away. So what are the um, towers? Sorry, what are the um, amplifiers? So we use a WeBoost one. So these are WeBoost, and you can see all sorts of different styles here. This is the one that, uh, the similar one to what we have. Uh, let me see if I can find a close one. This is probably closer to what we have. This goes outside, as you saw. The signal then comes into an amplifier in your house, cottage, trailer, whatever you're in. And then there is an internal antenna. Now, you want to make sure that it says 5G, 4G, LTE. There are some for like uh, 100 bucks and change that do not do 5G. So just read very carefully. Make sure that you get the one that you want. As you can see, they're not really expensive. I mean, this one here is $1,300, uh, 1400 more likely. That is probably more actually like the one we have. That's sort of what we paid on ours as well because we got the uh, telescopic pole. We got all sorts of extra stuff on it there. But if you've got a post you can put it on and you've got the cable, you might as well buy these for a few hundred dollars, uh, save yourself some money. Uh, very, very, very simple to set up as long as ours runs off a 12 volt. I think most of them do run off 12 volt. If not, you can always just buy the adapter, I guess, or maybe it'll come with it there. So those, if we just ask for uh, cell booster, there are multiple styles you can buy. You can see there's some Ours is by, by WeBoost, but um, there are many, many, many styles you can get. So these are the Canadian prices. Uh, this is an omnidirectional one. I actually got an omnidirectional antenna. I tried it. I plugged it into the system. It didn't work. Uh, so I personally wouldn't go for it. I would go for a directional one like this if you could. This is a directional one as well. Uh, this just has a plastic over the image of that. So either one of these could work. This actually has a little antenna inside that'll go into your ceiling. That's why it's round. It's, it's like a plate and it's an internal antenna. So you can just basically decide which style you like or whatever is pretty for, for your needs. Uh, if I was buying one today, honestly, I'd probably go for for this one here. Because uh, this does say does Bell, uh, Saskatel, Talus, Rogers. So... It's definitely designed for the Canadian frequencies. However, 
most of the Canadian frequencies are the equivalent of the US frequencies, which are the equivalent of the international frequencies. So just read up a little bit. As long as this is uh, 5G and 4G, you're okay. I mean, for instance, look at this one here. It does not say 5G. I wouldn't buy it. So, you know, make sure that you do say find one that does say 5G on that here. Again, this is an Omni. I didn't have any luck with the Omni. I had much, much better luck with our directional, finding the cell tower and pointing straight to it. So, there you go. Uh, that's all I wanted to tell you. Uh, that's my opinion on the boosters. It definitely does make a difference in the signal strength, as you saw, by turning the booster on and off in a trailer. Uh, or in a cottage, or even in a house. A friend of mine actually uh, has a house in town and has bad cell service in his basement, and he's got a booster in his basement, and he's got felt, uh, full uh, cell service in his basement. So there is a lot more uh, use than just you know for these systems. Again, is it worth it? Is the Rogers 5G home system worth it? I think so. Uh, it definitely does meet a... A standard where cable can't be run, where uh, other cell services aren't really available in the rural area, or even, um, as I've said to you before, maybe you've got some kids who are going to university or school or something like that. You can set it up, they can take it with them and plug it in, and as long as they've got cell service, uh, it should work. And I've yet to find a place where children would not want cell service. So more than likely, these would work. I hope that uh, helps you and answers your questions. If you have anything, again, please like this video, subscribe, as I will be putting more videos out showing you this. And if you have any questions or you want anything covered, don't feel that you can't sort of ask these questions. You're more than welcome to. Thank you.